always by uh, Dr. Janko Mersic Flogel, the CEO and founder of Planet Computers. Hi, Janko. Hi, Chris. How are you? Yeah, very well. And yourself? All good. All good at the moment. Excellent. Now, this is a bit of a landmark um, update, I know, video update, I know, because you finally received the T1 production sample of the Astro slide. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about that, when you got hold of it and uh, how it's looking? Yes, so we received uh, the, uh, the T1 sample uh, last week. Um, it took a little bit of time due to the uh, Dragon Ball holiday in uh, China and, uh, and just the uh, logistics. But finally, after about a week of traveling, it arrived. So very happy to, to, to show it today. Uh, and, and we'll go into more detail uh, on that. Um, we're very happy with this uh, sample. Uh, it's now getting to really look like the, the real deal. Excellent. Well, that's that's great news. And without further ado, I think we'd like you to share some of those features. Obviously, the one that people will be most interested in, the backers, I'm sure, will be most interested in is the rock up sliding mechanism. Now, I think you've got um, another video camera that enables us to see that um, in some detail. So uh, over to you. So here I'm showing um, the the prototype. You can see here this sample. Um, we've got the updated back with the battery, um, with the big battery. We've got the, this is the new back, so you can see the, the way that there's some, it's, it's got some uh, ribs here, so you can easily see uh, this, uh, this new texture on the back. Um, we've changed the, the the blue color slightly as well from the T0 sample. So I think that looks really nice to use and very nice to see. Um, so if I show you the, the, the hinge, it's very easy now to open. Okay, all we do is this action. Okay, so uh, here we have the, um, the, the unit and you can see here, easy close, uh, easy open. And you can see here the mechanism uh, just to show, you know, nice click action uh, to close. And as soon as we open, the screen rotates automatically. So, uh, so, yeah, so the automatic screen rotation is there. I can see Android working in the background there as well right. nicely. And right. uh, you, if you can just maybe slide open and slide close for us one more yeah, time. So slide open. You can see we slide open and here we slide. Let me just put it back to desktop. Slide close. Off we go, we've got a lock screen, the button, and uh, of course we can just use it like this. But when we start to open, then it will uh, it will display the keyboard. And, and if it's sat down on the table, can you pop it down on the table for yes. a second? Yes. Nice. So if we put it on the table, uh, it's uh, really great to use. We can obviously type on it, the keyboard is, is there. Let me bring up notes. Uh, so I'll bring up notes. And we can easily see, you know, here's the keyboard and here's the typing. So, nice. uh, yeah. And we've got our usual shortcuts and things like that in there. Um, also, we are allowing the, the rotation. So if you, if you are rotating, you can also rotate, automatically rotate in the different directions. So let me show you that again. Um, if we allow rotation, then you can also rotate automatically on the, on the device. We've been looking at um, a lot of things on the unit. Uh, so things like opening and closing, we've been working on that working really well. Um, the search uh, facilities, because we're introducing some new search software on the device, um, how all our usual applications are working. But essentially, the key part was really the firmware is understanding how the device will open and close, that the keyboard can be configured, that the locking works, that the unlocking works. And of course, we've been using things like the uh, the smart button and looking at all the functionalities on the smart button. Um, I can show you a little bit on that part as well. Yeah, that'd be great. Let me uh, show you the settings. So we can uh, go here and we can say Astro settings and here are some settings, but we can say okay, with the smart button, 
we can do different features. So uh, at the moment, we have features like a voice assistant, invoke an app, so you can select which app you want to invoke, uh, or you can um, you can use things like take a picture or a voice recorder, start the voice recorder, or use it as a screen rotation, uh, or use it to take a screenshot. Uh, so let's look at that function, take a screenshot with the smart button. So if I go back out, uh, if I now press the smart button, you can see that we have taken a screenshot. You got your screenshot there, lovely. Okay. So essentially you can, um, you can now um, essentially either invoke any application or you can invoke uh, a function. I'll give you another example. Uh, it's a, still in test, but we can set it as a personal alarm. So now if I press the smart button, it will make a noise. Nice. Okay, so it's all quite customizable in that respect then with the smart button. Yes, so we've been, we've been working on some of the functionalities on the, actual, um, on the actual device and making sure that things are running. But mm. of course, you know, some of the key things test the core functions of the phone. So things like uh, 5G, or the radio, uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc. Yeah, I was going to ask you. So the radio, the five G radio is looking good. Yeah. So um, we've been testing the antennas and the radio. Still a few things to go, but uh, on the five G, we managed to get our first five G connectivity, which is great. And also, we managed to test uh, download speeds. Currently, the most that we could test in London at our office was about over 350, I think even 380 megabits a second, which I think is quite impressive given that Pretty we're nice, yeah. using a nothing special, no special test kit, but just a standard regular network. So we're quite pleased with that performance. And uh, of course, uh, something that we're, we're, uh, we're, we're looking at very carefully to see that all the bands that we have said and all the all the frequencies are working well. Yeah, of course, that's important to the backers as well. Um, just uh, sort of a broader subject, which I know is um, in the minds of many people in the tech industry, and I guess will be on the minds of uh, many people uh, or the small number of people who've gone to Mobile World Congress this, this week as well, which is the kind of situation in terms of supply chain. Uh, we all know that there's been some challenges caused by COVID around chip shortages. Um, as you're sort of starting to move into production or move towards production, uh, can you give us a bit of an update on the situation there and, and what you've done to try and um, offset some risk there? Yes, so behind the scenes, we've been working quite hard um, to ensure that uh, we have the chips uh, available for the phone, in particular, the, uh, the Dimensity processor. Uh, because yeah. in terms of that, you know, um, it's it's going to be also there are there are there are shortages of the chip, and um, what we've managed to do, and I can say now, we managed to secure, uh, you know, a certain supply of the chip. Uh, of course, we sort of pre-purchased now a certain uh, quantity of the chips so that uh, we can uh, deliver the we can we can do the production for the uh, for for the uh, for our backers. So we're really pleased about that because I can announce that now that we've, we've basically pre-purchased the chips so that we can, um, we can uh, supply sufficient quantity for the backing. And, and that's, uh, it was quite a difficult thing behind the scenes, but yes, there were some shortage risks that, uh, that I'm happy to announce uh, uh, that we have mitigated. So that's very important. Yeah, that's great so news. Basically, we've now pre-purchased the, the chip quantity for all the backers. And, it, and in terms of the other sort of key fa uh, functions, features, and, and um, supply chain, everything looking okay? It's looking okay. A couple of component changes on um, some driver chips, uh, but essentially everything is fine. Uh, now that we've secured the processor quantities, um, we're happy with that. Um, there's still a few things to go. So in terms of production, there's still a few things to go. So 
uh, we are looking to improve on the radio. So some 4G frequencies haven't performed as well as we would like. Right. Uh, we've also been uh, testing the uh, the speakers and a few things. So there's a few modifications to the PCB that we'll still do and to the uh, antennas. So um, we are expecting uh, another uh, pre-production prototype. Uh, uh, so sample to receive the T2 sample uh, sort of in two, three weeks. Right. And the PCB will be out in about three days. So, uh, you know, it's not, uh, the things are, and then the debugging of that and the finalization of that we expect to be about two, three weeks till we get the, the sample. Um, and then if everything's okay, we're already starting to uh, pre-purchase uh, the parts. So if everything's okay, then we can say, okay, fine, let's go into a sort of a PR1 production. Yeah. Right. So essentially okay. we hope that the, uh, the sort of the mid July uh, sample is the last pre-production sample and that's that's it then we're in production okay. so uh very excited about that i mean this device already looks and feels uh, like it's a like it's a finished product but there's a couple of us a couple of tweaks on the pcb uh and we need to check some frequencies because the phone has been operational well on some frequencies but not on a couple of others which we need to uh double check it and we know that the the problem is the antenna there so okay. we're just uh, tweaking the antenna and getting a new um, new modification to the antennas. So understood, understood. So I mean, what does that? For, you know, I guess the, the the backers would be asking, and so I will as well. What does that mean in terms of, you know, when it might be likely that the Astro slides are starting to arrive at people's homes? Uh, so I mean, the, the schedule at the moment is we need to double check the T two sample which will be sort of in about two to three weeks. If that's okay, um, we're, then, um, we're then ordering all the materials after that. Uh, already we've uh, pre-purchased the, the processors and all the power components around the processor. So uh, we're kind of pre-purchasing the quantities. The next thing that we'll do is we'll be asking for the, uh, in the next 10 days or so, we'll be asking for the keyboard layouts from yeah. the backers. Uh, so that we can uh, start ordering the keyboard layouts uh, for, for the for the keyboard elements, and uh, and essentially once we validate the the T2 prototype, we're going into we're going to go into production. So, okay. uh, in terms of the full schedule, I still don't want to say very much because I think we just need to double check that the T2 is okay. Then we can kind of make a maybe a, a full schedule uh, um, full update on the schedule. Uh, sort of uh, when we receive the T2 prototype. But assuming okay. that it's okay, we're talking about, you know, getting the first production samples uh, out in uh, the first production PR1 samples in, uh, in, uh, in August, so. Okay, okay. Right, that's good to know. So, um, and obviously I guess what we can do is reconvene in a couple of weeks time when you've got the, uh, the next sample and see how that's looking and give us a bit of an update at that stage. Yes, and I'd also like to, uh, to um, in the meantime, probably give an update on the software side because there's a lot of work that's been done For on sure. the software. I showed a little bit about the smart button, but there's a lot of other settings and other features that we'll be showing um, uh, probably with an up in, with an interim update, uh, sort of in a in a you know in a ten days or so. Sounds good. Okay. Well, I mean, that's uh, that's very interesting. I'm sure the the backers will be very encouraged and, and excited to hear um, what's going on with the prototype. And thank you for sharing the prototype today. Uh, we'll look forward to seeing the next stages, um, obviously in the development of the project, and hopefully talk again in in two or three weeks' time when you uh, when you can be you know more certain as to uh, as to exactly what the future looks like. Yeah, I think that that's right. I mean, it's a really, you know, this is a really, it's now already uh, it's really looking good. real, looking really good. You know, everything is working, but we need to just tweak it to make it perfect. So that's kind of, that's where we are. Great stuff. All right. Well, thank you for uh, sharing that update today. I think uh, the backers will be pleased to hear that. And uh, we'll look forward to talking again soon. 
Thank you very much, Chris. Thanks. All the best. Thank you. You too.